5D of the FY 2016 heat grant. Commissioners, if you, as you recall, at our last meeting, the uh, Sheriff Ryan came before us with a request for two grants. One was for uh, bulletproof vests uh, through the Department of Homeland Security. And then, of course, this grant as well, which is through the Governor's Office of Highway Safety. Uh, I've had conversations with um, Sheriff Ryan, and he uh, has asked to withdraw the one for the bulletproof vests. He says at this time they have plenty of best and everybody that needs one has access to one. Um, so he wanted to withdraw that one, but he did want to go ahead and pursue uh, the heat grant at this time. So it is on the agenda for your consideration tomorrow night. Any questions? I have a concern. I, well, it's a question in the form of a question. I noticed he stated to create a heat team if this grant is um, approved. So that's do we mean that he would create a team within the employments he have or create by hiring new employees? Well, the, the, the funding uh, addresses for three additional personnel for this program. Mm -hmm. I did, again, in my conversation with the sheriff, uh, tell him that typically in a grant situation like this is that the funding would only be for the life of the grant. So at the end of the three years, if this grant is not able to be extended or, or um, uh, another grant of like kind, then those positions and um, that would that program would go away at okay. that time. Okay. Any other questions? Is there the possibility of using three deputies within a department instead of hiring three additional deputies? I'm not real sure myself about that, whether the grant requires uh, just if you could uh, reassign individuals or whether or not this is three new personnel. That is a question we could probably get answered uh, before tomorrow evening's meeting. Thank you. Any other questions?